I want to share with you a story, something that happened to me over the course of the past couple of days. It's my stop and stomp the roses moment, a moment where life became too overwhelming to me. It took me three days just to wash the dishes. Three days. Now you may ask yourself, why would it take three days to wash the dishes? This is my story. I became so overwhelmed with stress. I'm not sleeping right. I'm not eating right. I'm not handling stress well at all. Things are becoming overwhelming. I have so much work to do. I give myself all these things that need to be done, and yet a lot of it does not get accomplished. The house was probably the last thing that I needed to do. Yet the cleanliness of the house is one of the most important things I need to do. All I could say to myself is, it's too much. I can't do this alone. I would wake up every day and look at my sink. And in the sink would be piles and piles of dishes. There would be dishes from the night before dinner. There would be dishes from snacks. There would be dishes that just accumulated because I did not watch them. I said to myself, I'm going to create a plan. If I just do 10 minutes a day, 10 minutes of washing the dishes, maybe I could get it done. I knew too often that if I focused on washing the dishes at that very moment, my anger, my rage, my exhaustion, my stress would build up to the point where I would take those dishes and smash them against the wall. I was not able to give 100% to those dishes. But what I could do is give myself 10 minutes. The first day, 10 minutes seemed like such a long time. I filled up the sink with water. I put soap in it. The fresh scent of dawn filled my nostrils. And all I could say to myself is I hate doing this. I'm scrubbing the dishes. I'm cleaning the dishes one at a time. And the frustration is getting to me so much. Once again, all I want to do is take these dishes and throw them against the wall. Watch them shatter. Maybe in some life, maybe that's exactly what happened. Maybe my anger did get the best of me and I smash those dishes. I envision myself cutting myself from these dishes, but I think to myself, that's not where I wanna be. That's not what I wanna do. All I wanna do is wash these dishes. The first day was difficult and I'm looking at the clock and I'm saying to myself, it's only 10 minutes. 10 minutes of my day, and I can't even do something for 10 minutes. I guess energetically, people could feel my vibrations because my cat came over to me crying, looking at what's wrong. She wasn't hungry. It's just she ate the attention of her mommy. She put her two paws up on my leg and stretched her body out and started rubbing her cheek against my leg and all I could do is look at her, shut off the water, dry my hands and scoop her up because on the first day one could say I failed. I couldn't even do 10 minutes of washing dishes. I clutched onto my cat and I think at some point I was crying. I wasn't crying externally but internally, I was rolled up into a little ball, clutching onto my cat, feeling like I'm crying, but no tears came out. The only thing that came out was my anger and frustration. 
I left the dishes the first day. I felt like I didn't even do anything. I couldn't even devote 10 minutes of my time. So, I left it for the next morning. The next morning, I wake up just as angry, just as frustrated, just as sad that I had to do all these dishes all over again. And of course the dishes expanded exponentially. We ate something the night before. I made dinner and there were more and more dishes. The dish pile just did not stop. So I said to myself, I'm giving myself 10 minutes. That's all I require, 10 minutes. 10 minutes just to wash these dishes. And so I began to wash the dishes. Once again, filling up that sink with that soapy water, smelling the smell of that dawn, making the bubbles in that warm water just to clean these dishes. My 10 minutes was up and I did not want to continue. In some frame, maybe I wanted to continue, but I said my 10 minutes is up. The dishes were not finished. I woke up this morning again, dragging myself into the kitchen. The frustration and anger that I had for once again, the dishes were still there. And once again, the dishes grew exponentially. Having another dinner, having more dishes, the dishes will never end. With every meal, with every snack, with every moment that a dish is taken from the kitchen and placed in the sink is more and more dishes and more and more dishes that need to be washed. I said to myself, 10 minutes, that's all I'm gonna do is 10 minutes. And I started washing the dishes. I guess today I felt much better because at this rate, my cat did not come and visit me. My cat did not come and rub and wondering what's wrong because maybe my cat knew that I felt a little better. I washed those dishes. In my head, I can hear the glasses breaking against the wall. In my head, I could feel the times and the anger where those glasses shattered. Maybe at one point I was a victim. I don't know, but I cannot help but curl up into a little ball as those glasses smash against the wall. But all I could do is wash those glasses, washing them one at a time with warm soapy water, warm water to clean those glasses. I get to the silverware, the utensils. That's one thing about utensils. I never like doing utensils. It's doing each one, one at a time. But it's at the point right now, I can't even open up the cupboard. There's no more utensils. All the utensils are at the bottom of the sink, soaking, waiting, waiting for me to wash them, waiting for me to be cleaned. I pick up each one. I scrub the utensils. I let the water clean off all the debris, the food, the fingerprints, anything that would be on those utensils. And I put them in the dish tray. More than 10 minutes has passed and I find that the very last utensil is now placed in the dish drain. Water gently drips as I remove the plunger from the sink. The water slowly goes down the drain, emptying. And I realize I did it. I washed the dishes. It took three days. It took three days of my time, but the sink is clean. And in doing so, I was able to now clean the counter. The dishes that were stacked up in the sink and on the counter, I can now clean the counter. The kitchen is coming along and it's looking beautiful. And it was an accomplishment. And it made me realize something. Every day, I may have only given 1% of my time to the dishes, but at least it was something. 
doing 1% of the work allowed me to accomplish something. I end up giving over 100% of myself to many other things. And because I give so much of myself to other things, there are certain things that get neglected. Those certain things that get neglected, which have to be done, if I can only give 1% of myself, 1% of my time, it will eventually get done. Nobody told me that I have to get everything done all at once. Nobody has said that I have to do it. If I don't do it, then obviously it will never get done. But if I do it, even if it's 1% of my time, it will eventually get done. It took me three days to wash the dishes. It took me three days to empty out the sink. It took me three days to finally accomplish what I started out to do. And how do I feel? What a relief I felt until the moment another dirty dish went back into the sink. So I know there are people out there who may need to hear this. It is okay to give 1% of yourself. It is an accomplishment to do something instead of nothing. It doesn't matter if it's not done right this moment because I guarantee there are other things that you've accomplished and other parts of your life that you have given over 100%. It is okay to give only 1% of yourself. It is an accomplishment. Now this is just part of my journey of stop and smell the roses. A lot of times people may disagree that if you do not finish something immediately, that it's not an accomplishment or they may consider it a failure. But if I focus on nothing but my failures and not focus on my successes, then I will never get anything accomplished. It took me three days to wash the dishes. And you know something? The dishes are finally done.